we are now going to find the average rate of change of a function. And this is very particular. We always have some points, a is less than b, that we're picking, and we want to know what the average rate of change is. How much does it change on average from point a to point b on the graph? And so our function is f of b minus f of a, over b minus a. Notice b is always bigger than a in this case. And this should look familiar. This is just like the slope formula for linear equations, but it's applied more generally, and you can use this for any function, and it will tell you between the two points how much do things change on average. So let's just take a moment, and let's assume that we have a function. We have f of t, and it's equal to 1 minus t squared. And we want to find the average rate of change as t changes from 2 to 4. So the, what we need to figure out, we know that this is a, and this is b, and we take our function, f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So this is f of 4 minus f of 2 over 4 minus 2. Well, f of 4 is equal to 1 minus 4 squared, which is 1 minus 16, which is negative 15. And f of 2 is 1 minus 2 squared, which is 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So replacing these gives us minus 15 minus a minus 1 all over 4 minus 2 which becomes minus 15 plus 1, which is minus 14, over 4 minus 2, which is 2, which is minus 7. So the average rate of change for this function from 2 to 4 is minus 7. If it were a straight line, we'd lose 2 per slope. So, let's look at one more. Let's look at a more general case. Let's give an f of t is 1 minus t. Notice this is a little bit different. And this time I want the average rate of change as t goes from 2 to x, to some new point. And notice that what this lets me do is it lets me look at this from a bigger perspective. So I can create a new function which I could evaluate for any different value of x, and I'd always know what the rate of change was from 2 for this function. So again, it's f of b minus f of a over b minus a, and again, a, in this case, b is going to be x, and a is going to be 2, and I switched my colors. So f of x minus f of 2 all over x minus 2. Well, f of x is really straightforward. It's just 1 minus x, and that's as far as it goes. f of 2 is 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So we're going to get 1 minus x minus a minus 1 all over x minus 2. So this is minus minus 1 is a plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 minus x over x minus 2. If we take the top one, we can factor a negative out. Minus 2 plus x, which I'm still not quite happy with. Let's rewrite that as x minus 2 over x minus 2. Notice I have an x over minus 2 over x minus 2. We can reduce that, and we get minus 1. So the average rate of change from 2 to any value x in the function 1 minus t is minus 1. And that's how we find the average rate of change.